In this video, we'll guide you through the process of setting up pensions in Sage Payroll. Pensions are a key part of your company setup. The process will differ slightly, depending on which setup option you choose. In this demonstration, we'll guide you through setting up pensions using the Set up a new payroll option. This option is ideal for new employers setting up payroll for the first time or existing employers transitioning at the start of a tax year. If you're unsure which option is right for you, please refer to the linked articles for detailed guidance. Before setting up pensions, make sure you've completed the initial company setup, including entering employee paydays and employee details. It's also important to confirm that payments and deductions are configured correctly for pensions. For further assistance, you can watch this video or visit our Help Center. Next, enter your duties start date, which marks the beginning of your auto-enrollment responsibilities. For new companies, this is the date you hire your first employee. For existing companies, this date may have been provided by the pensions regulator as a staging date. Enter either your original staging date or duties start date and click set duties start date. Then, click OK on the confirmation message. Once the date the duty start date is reached, you'll see options to either prepare for auto-enrollment or to amend the duty start date. Note that you can only amend this if no pay runs have been processed after this date. To begin preparing for auto-enrollment, click Prepare for auto-enrollment or navigate to the Pensions section from the top menu bar. It's best to complete these steps in advance of your duty start date to avoid non-compliance and fines from the pensions regulator. There are four steps to complete in this section. The first step is to nominate a pension contact with the pensions regulator. This ensures you don't miss any important communications. To complete the nomination form, click this link. By default, the business contact details will be used for pension correspondence. But if you want to use a different contact, click Add Pension Contact and enter the relevant details. Once you complete this task, select the Pensions Contact Nominated checkbox. The second step is to assess your workforce and the impact this will have on your employees. This option becomes available once you've processed at least one payroll. If you are new to Sage Payroll, assess the impact of automatic enrollment manually outside of Sage Payroll. Please note, this is a preparation step only, and Sage Payroll automatically assesses your employee's eligibility for automatic enrollment based on their age and earnings when you process each pay run. To confirm step two is complete, select the checkbox. The next step is to set up your pension scheme. If you don't have an existing pension scheme, select No from the drop-down menu. You'll be shown a list of qualifying pension providers, with links to their websites for more details. If you already have a pension scheme, select Yes and ensure it meets the qualifying criteria for automatic enrollment. Then, click Add New Pension and fill in the required details. If your provider is listed, select the appropriate link. If not, click Add Your Own Pension. For this example, we'll select Nest Corporation. Setting up your pension correctly is important. Please note that the information needed may vary depending on your pension provider. If you're unsure about any of the details, visit our Help Center or contact your provider for guidance. Enter the employer reference, which is the Nest ID that was provided by Nest when you joined. Then, set up at least one group. For other providers, this may be called a plan. Click Add Group and complete the details agreed with the pension provider. For the group name, make sure to use the exact name given by your provider to avoid any submission errors. Then choose the type of contribution by selecting the correct option. This must be correct as it directly impacts the contributions and how they are deducted from your employees. For example, if you were using salary sacrifice, select this and enter the contribution percentages for the employer and employee. To proceed, click Next. Pension contributions will be deducted from each employee's reference salary. To learn more about reference salary, click the link provided here. 
select the contribution payment date. This is the date you'll pay the contributions deducted from your employees to your pension provider. To automatically enroll all employees into this pension scheme group, select this checkbox. You can change this for individual employees during pay runs if needed. For demonstration purposes, we'll go back to step one to choose whether the scheme deducts before or after tax. If you are unsure whether your pension is deducted before or after tax, check with your provider before continuing. Then, choose whether the contributions are a percentage or a fixed amount for both employer and employee. To continue, click Next. Select the earning basis your employee's contributions are deducted from. Pensionable pay, qualifying earnings or customize the earning basis by setting your own annual upper and lower limits. This is determined by your setup with your provider and must be correct as it will affect the contributions. Please check with your provider if you are unsure. From the drop-down, choose the contributions payment date. To ensure all employees are enrolled into this pension group automatically, select this checkbox. Remember, you can always modify this for individual employees in the payroom. Once you're happy with the details, click Save. Repeat this process to add any additional groups. Now, let's add the payment source for your pension contributions. Please note this may not be applicable for other pension providers, and if so, this option will not appear. Enter the name of the payment source to ensure it matches the exact name used by Nest. If this is the default payment source, select the default checkbox and click Add. Repeat this process to add any additional payment sources. To complete the setup, select the Qualifying Scheme checkbox. To read the terms, select our Terms link. To accept them, select the checkbox and then click Save. Back on the Auto Enrollment Preparation page, select the Pension Scheme Qualifies checkbox. The fourth and final step is to communicate the automatic enrollment changes to employees. You're required by law to inform employees about automatic enrollment. You can send them the required communication via email or print. If you choose email, you'll be prompted to enter employees' email addresses and passwords if you haven't already done so. Once the communication is sent, select the checkbox to confirm the employees have been informed. Some employees may be exempt from auto-enrollment. For example, non-UK workers or those who fall outside certain criteria. If you receive confirmation from the pensions regulator to exclude an employee, you'll need to adjust their record in SAGE payroll. To exclude an employee from the top menu bar, click Employees and select the relevant employee and go to the Workplace Pensions tab. Select the Exclude from Auto-Enrollment checkbox and then click Save. Remember, this exclusion is for employees who meet the specific criteria set by the pensions regulator and not for employees who choose to opt out. You've now learned how to set up pensions in Sage Payroll.